So today we're going to talk about the about pyramids. We're going to talk about finding the volume and then finding the surface area. So first, we're going to talk about the volume. And to find the volume of a pyramid, we go ahead and we find the area of the base. We multiply by the height of the pyramid from the very top straight down to the bottom and we divide that product by three because it's one third of a rectangular prism. So in short, the volume equals a area of the base as we write capital B times the height of the pyramid divided by three. So let's look at this example. If we give this example some dimensions, five meters by five meters and the base, I mean sorry, the height of the pyramid is nine meters. Then we go ahead and plug into the formula. Volume equals the base is five meters times five meters. The height is nine meters. And do we, we divide that by the three because it's a pyramid. So the three cancels out with the nine and we end up with 25 times 3, which equals 75. And since it's volume, it's meters cubed. So why don't you try that? Um, here are the dimensions of your pyramid. It's 3 feet by 3 feet. And your pyramid is 6 feet tall. Go ahead and hit pause and try this one on your own. Welcome back. And when we try this one, we start with our formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the pyramid divided by 3. And we decode area of the base is, in this case, 3 times 3. Multiply that by the height, which is 6, and divide it all by 3. Go ahead and cross cancel if at all possible. And one three will cancel out with another three. And three divided by three is plain old one. And we're left with three times six, which is 18, and it's volume. So it's feet cubed. Good job on volume. And next we're going to move on to the surface area. Now surface area of a pyramid is a little bit harder because there's not quite a straight up formula, but the idea of surface area is you find the area of each face then add them all together. With the pyramids that we have, a square based pyramid, we have four triangles around the edges, and each triangle is congruent. So we'll find the area of one, and then multiply it by four. And the base is one square. We'll find that area of the base. And we'll add it all together to get the final surface area. In this example, we'll go ahead and have the dimensions. The height of the face of the triangle is going to be 4 meters. And the base is 6 meters by 6 meters. So the triangle that we have is 4 tall and 6 at the base. So the area of a triangle is base times height over 2. So we get 4 times 6 over 2, and that, right up at 2, and that ends up being 12, and it's meters squared since it's area. But we have four triangles, so we're going to go ahead and say 4 times those 12, and it's going to give us an area of 48 meters squared for all the sides of the pyramid. 
And then the square, we have a square base of 6 by 6. The area of a square is the side length squared, which is 6 squared, and that's 36 meters squared. So then to find the total surface area, we're going to have to go ahead and sum that up. So we're going to get our 48 meters squared plus our 36 meters squared, and that will give us our total surface area and when we add those together we go ahead and get 84 meters square. I'm going to set one up for you to go ahead and try it. Let's pull this down so you have a little more room and give it some dimensions. We're going to go ahead and say the base is a 5 by 5, we'll make it inches. And then the height of the triangular face goes all the way down there. Make the height of that 6 inches. Go ahead and hit pause and see if you can find the total surface area of this one. Welcome back. And so again, we're going to find the area of the triangle, and the triangle is the height of it is 6, and the base is 5. So the area equals 5 times 6. It's a triangle, so we divide by 2. And 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2 is 15. 15 inches squared. Um, but we have four triangles. And that will be 4 times 15, which is 60 inches squared for the faces of the triangles. And then the base, again, we have a square base. So it's a 5 by 5 square. And so the area of that will be the side squared equals 5 squared, which is 25 inches squared. And again, we have to total, since we have all these five faces together, and to get our total surface area, we're going to go ahead and get 60 inches squared from the triangular faces, plus the square base, which is 25 inches squared. And we get that all together, and it's 85 inches squared, or 85 square inches. Thank you so much, and good luck.